It's the love, it's the of, God love of God that will get you to change. That the Father likes you very much. He really does. Can you believe that? That's the way God looks at us, okay? Just figuratively speaking. Even though God is close to us, those times where you feel like God is far from you, you feel like God is distant, because that comes at times, right? As we live our daily life. But even though you feel that He's far, He sees you. He sees you. And so you see, like, the way when we sin, we're like, oh my gosh. I feel so dirty. I feel like God is so ashamed of me. How could I be His son? How could I be His daughter? That He sees you. And He'll run to you. He's not waiting for you to come. He's running to you. And He's ready to, to wrap His arms around you. To embrace you. He's ready to kiss you. To show you affection. Right? This is the heart of our Father. So in all these times when you screw up and you do the stupid stuff and you always say, okay, I'm going to go back to God and I'm going to try to get my ass straight. God is not looking at that. God is looking God's about, looking about he just you. Wants, he just you. wants you. And then you cannot help that when you're in the Father's arms, you cannot help but be changed. When you know the heart of God, when you let Him put His arms around you, we're not just talking about theology here. We're, telling, we're talking about a real experience with God. You want to know people whose lives, you look at Paul, okay, who was one of the worst of the worst sinners, right? Who persecuted the church. This is one of the people who really loved God because he knew the forgiveness of God. Right? And all of us have been doing stupid crap, right? Where we, we feel so ashamed. But if we only knew the heart of God, that when we sin, that God is looking at you, that the moment when you have your head down, because you feel so down that you messed up, that the moment you look up and you turn and you see your father running towards you, and he's willing to put his arms around you and then and hold you and just kiss you and just give you this affection because he loves you and you didn't even say sorry. Why? Because you're no longer condemned. Because you're in him. You can't help be changed when you come into this encounter with the Lord. When you have this God who comes into your life and washes away all your sin. Hey guys, I'm not telling you guys to think about your sins to make you guys feel bad. I'm just telling you guys that when you think about your sins that you've done, I'm just saying that all those things have been washed away. That as Christ is, so am I in this world. That as Christ is, so are you in this world. Your past is the past. Let God live His life through you now. Right? Is He, you know, this is the stuff that we go through, you guys. God cares. He cares. He cares. He cares. You know, that's why, you know, I look at our church, praying that these people would go and leave, taking this message of hope. Taking this message of hope about how much God loves the world. He died, he died for you and for me so that you must live and be free. This is the heart of our Father.